said you chill. <laughs>
or recently have found out you guys are expecting or something okay take it how it resonates but yes you guys are just like damn like shit shit is getting real okay shit is hitting the fan okay like if you didn't know now you know okay <laughs> type in and she <laughs> okay ain't nothing wrong with that i already got two cards pulled and we're gonna finish out with clarifying those and get into the rest of the reading. So, God grant us the serenity, accepting things that we cannot change, the courage to change the things that we can, and the wisdom to know the different yarns. I said, I'm about to just take one little piece because it's getting my whole workspace dirty. And since we're doing Spirit Baby, I don't think it should be nothing too crazy. You know what I'm saying? To where we need all of that. So, let's do this again. God grant us the serenity to accept the things that we cannot change, the courage to change the things that we can, and the wisdom to know the different young. So I say, God grant us the serenity to accept the things that we cannot change, the courage to change the things that we can, and the wisdom to know the different young. Please clear my workspace so I can get the collective best spirit baby messages. All right, all right, all right. Any evil eyes sent towards me and my collective, please return that shit back to center with the intent of knowledge. I say, I say, I say, yeah. I said, anybody sending any evil eyes towards me and my collective, please return that shit back to center with the intent of knowledge so that they can stop doing that shit. I say, I say, I say, I say, yeah. All right. Bonsoir, bonsoir, bonsoir. This has been a minute since I did like a evening reading, you guys. It usually either be late night or early morning when I usually do a reading. So it's pretty dope. Alright. So the two cards that I have on the board is drop and give me zen. Okay. And it looks like it's some um what is that shit called? That black tourmaline or um, black onyx or something like that stone. So some of y'all need to be working with some. Um, what is that one so called? Go look up some of the crystals in the black one. Because they even be having it in a lot of movies. Where the um, charm or amulet be made with this stone. And it's like heavily, heavily protection in that stone. Now, I want to say it's either black tourmaline or, um, what did I just say? Black onyx or something like that. It's in the black onyx family. And it says, pay the piper and move on. Some of you guys are getting this blessing of a child because y'all done paid y'all dues. Okay? People get blessed children for reasons. So, uh, some of y'all may be the type of people look at people like, well, you were, like, it took a while for you to get pregnant or you had to go through so many miscarriages or so many false pregnancies where it's like your body is doing all the pregnancy things but you're not pregnant, um, you know, things of that nature. And you see other people having kids. I've talked about this in some of my other readings. But you don't know what those people struggle with, what their trauma is, what their lessons are for them. That's why they get blessed with the kids and the children and the path that they're going to take. You know what I'm saying? Who's to say that their life is all sunshines and roses just because they were blessed with a child. You feel me? So just always remember to just keep your eyes on your own pots, okay? When it comes to those type of situations. However, still do your research. And then um, I'm getting everyone is looking for a hero. Winnie Houston, Okay. Yeah, I'm also here. There's a hero when you look inside yourself. <laughs> There's a hero when you look inside yourself. Okay. They said there's an answer when you look into your heart. So there's a hero when you look inside yourself. There's an answer when you look inside your heart. Okay. No one can distill you from how far you have come. Don't look don't look away. And I'm also hearing um, the story in the Bible where he said, told her, don't turn around or she's going to turn into a pillar of salt. I have a link down below. So something about don't look behind you, just look forward. Stop looking behind, look forward. 
okay? It's like in a Tupac song, Me Against the World. He's talking about all the shit of the future. What's currently going on and what the fuck to do for the future. Okay. Everyone is looking for a hero. There's a hero when you look inside yourself. Sir, can you please clarify this drop and give me Zen? Pay the piper. Thank you. It says peace, love, and yoga pants. Oh, and fuzzy slippers. Okay, so some of y'all might have had to do fertility yoga to get this or change a diet or exercise or something. Like I was talking about detoxing and the other um, readings. Some of you guys, like I said, you guys did the work. So y'all thinking like, oh, well, I done did diets before this before and da, 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 da. And that ain't never happened. Or I've been with this person for this long and never happened. Ooh, but baby, guess what? <laughs> it happened or it's happening. Okay, so period. Also, with next year being 2024, this could be happening in the next two to four months or six months as well. Sorry, can you redo that? Everyone is looking for a hero. Thank you. Can you please clarify everyone is looking for a hero? Use the other deck. Thank you. Oh. Breathe like you know how. Breathe like you know how. Inhale the good shit. Exhale the bad shit. Period. I'm here, fat man scoop, fat man scoop, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. <laughs> okay. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, can you clarify everyone is looking for a hero spirit? For my spirit baby reading. Please and thank you. Can you please clarify everyone is looking for a hero? Teen shooting in the reverse. How to stuff a man, how to work a man. I'm so real, I'm never capping. I'm here, shoot the club up, shoot the, shoot the club up. <laughs> no, tear the club up. No, fuck this club up. I'm here to Nicki Minaj, fuck the club up. Whatever the fuck that shit is called. It says how to stuff a man, how to work a man. Lord, help mercy. I be fussing like I do. I say fussing like I do. Okay. I can't. That's a Doja Cat song. But I have a link spirit. Thank you. Um, this in the reverse. Some of y'all could have had a kid that was in a teen shooting or a sibling or something that was in a teen shooting. I'm here. Reincarnation. How to stuff a man, how to work a man. I'm also hearing somebody made it a voodoo practice to get this pregnancy. Somebody went to like some type of, um, got some type of third party help to come and get this pregnancy. How to stuff a man, how to work a man. That's what I'm getting from this. Everyone is looking for a hero. So somebody, yeah, I'm hearing third party help. Peace, love, and yoga pants. Yeah, somebody went to like a spiritual person or some type of, um, I want to I say experience, but professional help or something like that. Or it could be experience help, however you want to take it. But yeah, this is like something about some tragic happening. Or this is like, um, even if it wasn't a person in your family, whoever this baby is coming in, their past life was something tragic happening with violence. Okay, so your baby mom might have a um, particular birthmark or a particular scar or something, or your baby might be able to talk to spirits early or see spirits early. Um, yeah, your baby might be able to tell you about their past life or whoever this person was in your family, they might be able to like already know who great, and grand um, relatives are already, and like you might not even barely know these motherfuckers. He's like, how the fuck you know that that's your great whoever, uncle, aunt, cousin, however, and I don't even barely you know what I'm saying. Or they might can be able to tell you about your family history, like far as like some ancestry.com or something like 
your kid might see photographs or something and be able to pinpoint certain shit. So, take the hours and eight. I just have 1433 on my screen. Okay. Can you clarify this? Everyone is looking for a hero. Wrapped around my finger. New city, state, or address. <clears throat> Breathe like you know how to. Okay, um, I'm hearing this baby is gonna bring in a lot of new experiences. When this baby come, y'all might move around a lot. I'm hearing hold my hand, hold my hand, hold my finger. Like I'm seeing like y'all crossing like busy streets a lot. Like some of y'all might live in New York or Chicago, um, Vegas, like. Florida, sirens outside, yeah, somewhere where there's, like, high, high, like, traffic, um, jaywalking is, like, taken very seriously and shit, like, that type of thing, um, you might be very overprotective over this child as well, the child might like to, like, just run off and do a lot of shit, so, like, on some daredevil type shit, like, this baby probably gonna be, like, having you with the flux, like, like, your nerves gonna be bad. <laughs> Sirens is going crazy. Like, your nerves probably gonna be fucking bad. Like, yeah. I'm hearing, like, this kid's gonna be very adventurous. It's, it's sirens and horns honking outside, you guys. Yeah. I'm also hearing something about this baby in their past life. They were with somebody or something holding their hand. They could have died in somebody's arms or something like that. Take it how it resonates as well. Spirit, can you give me any more messages from this deck for the Spirit Baby reading? Okay. Thank you. And the reverse. Revolving door relationship, gaslighting. Don't like the way I talk and say something. If I was well, I would have smacked him with a stick. Okay, so whatever relationship you're in, they're not going to be gaslighting you. This is not a revolving door relationship. This might um end up in marriage or something. I'm also hearing something about the reason why y'all might be moving around a lot. Your child could be like an army brat or whichever one of y'all work it's like y'all travel for work or something so the family can come or have the opportunity to come to these places or something like that um so even if they do leave it's not like on some revolving door being on bullshit type of shit it's because like they really working for some better type shit okay and give me one more spirit Okay. They got two more. Thank you. Let's go to Pride. Everyone's looking for a hero. Let's go to Pride. Okay, so yeah, there's a hero when you look inside yourself. There's an answer when you look into your heart. So if you put your pride and your ego to the side... Or some of y'all, y'all give great advice and do things for others, but y'all don't pour back into yourself. Okay? Some of y'all need to start back pouring into yourself and let go of that pride. Let go of, like... Like, stop being so worried about what the fuck everybody else think. Like... You know what I'm saying? Yo, that shea butter got my face looking greasy. Bitch. <laughs> I'm not sweating, y'all. It's just shea butter. Shea butter, baby. Fucking up your pillow. Okay. Working with the crew roofing company. I'm connected. Okay. So this person can work in real estate or something like that. Like I said, whoever y'all is, y'all move around a lot or something like that. I'm here, um, Webby. I'll be missing you. I miss you too. Gonna hit kiss you through the phone. I'm gonna kiss you too. Okay, I'll be missing you. Oh. 
Ever since you went away, I've been down and lonely. Since you went away, I've been thinking of you. Ooh, ooh. Okay, reality TV cast members in the reverse. Shout out to my day ones. They ain't in the studio, but they'll lay something. Okay. So, again, this could be somebody who works in engineering. Um, this could be somebody who works in um, public transportation. As far as, like, party buses, tour buses, RV type of shit. Um, drivers for, like, basketball players and shit, like the Indian Trails, Greyhound type of things. This could be, like, semi-trucking. Um... If they are not like the actual reality star, they could do something that's in broadcasting or TV um, purposes or something like that. If I get caught cheating, that don't mean I don't love you. Yeah, this person ain't cheating. Because it came out in reverse. But sometimes it might come off like that because... They might work around celebrities and you might are, is doing security. You know what I'm saying? They might do work at high a high end place or something like that where it's a lot of people always coming in that got money like that. So somebody is like, Okay, well, are you gonna leave for somebody else type of thing? But I don't think y'all gonna do that. So like some of y'all y'all need to let the pride go. Like whoever you having this baby with, like it's it's meant to last as long as you let it. Spirit, can you clarify this reading, please? What does the spirit baby want to say to his parents? And yeah, you like, shout out to my baby dad. Like, he ain't home, but guess what? He making sure home taken care of. Like, it, it, that nigga one phone call away type shit. Like, don't let nobody try to, like, dish you and just steer you from your family type of shit. Like, somebody could have a motherfucker all day. Baby, your husband always around, whatever, da, da, da. but ain't worth a quarter, ain't fucking doing shit. So, whereas your baby daddy husband or whoever the fuck, they might not be around like that or able to be around like that, but they motherfucking planting a foundation for y'all. Like, they out there in the field getting it ten throws the fuck down. So, don't ever sit up here and be on some, oh, I'm lonely, da 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 Okay, pour into your fucking self while this person is away. Take whatever the fuck they learning from you. Get inspired by this person. So, it's like, okay, baby, like, okay, I see you doing that part. Let me motherfucking cross these T's and dot these I's. Like, we about to do this shit, okay? I really see a marriage coming out of this, for real. If not, like, y'all really gonna be together for a long time type shit. Like, not with no issues. Even if y'all do separate, like, y'all gonna co-parent, like, a mug. Like, even if y'all get with other people, y'all be able to still reconcile, have dinner, and family time, and things like that. Probably even be friends with the other person type shit, okay? Because the maturity level is there. I'm not seeing all that narcissistic cat and mouse and weird shit because gaslighting came out in reverse. What does the spirit baby want to say to the spirit? Um, let's take this top one. I remember to smile. Some of y'all might be having a little girl. I'm seeing y'all need to work on that crown chakra. It's a lot of purple. It says, going through the motions of mamahood can be exhausting. Sometimes you can forget the simple satisfaction of a smile. Smiling causes your brain to release endorphins. So it's an, so it's an instant mood booster. Not only is smiling good for you, it's good for a baby who's still learning the basics of human interaction. Take a moment and smile today. Smile in the mirror. Smile at the checkout line. Smile at your beautiful baby. You'll feel better and you may catch some adorable baby smiles too. Period. Period. Okay, this like it might be a little boy. Okay, I don't see any spirit animals. Some of y'all might be eating some cake or something. Like I said, with that wedding coming in, some of y'all could be getting... um Having a wedding or a baby shower or a wedding while you're pregnant or baby shower while you or, or after or something. Because this baby looks real, real small. So, surely after you have your baby, y'all could be having some type of celebration. 
Okay. Parenthood brings us closer. This is like a little boy. Also, look up the spirit animal. Owl, chihuahua, squirrel, tiger, koala, pelican, and a fox. I'll have them linked down below. Or y'all can just rewind or whatever. Parenthood brings us closer. Don't believe the hype. Having a baby does not need to create distance between you and your partner. Yes, the dynamics will change, but it's an opportunity to deepen your bond. Just like any grand adventure, it's not always easy. This disrupts sleep, the witching hours, the surrender of per personal desires, but there are mountaintop experiences too the first smile giggle and step the unfolding of the beautiful life be kind to each other during this demanding time you'll see it through together and emerge closer as a result like i said let the pride go let the fucking pride go there ain't gonna be no gaslighting gaslighting came out in reverse like y'all very communicative with each other i love that for y'all I love that for y'all collective. Like, cause you, if you, y'all be surprised how many people do not know how to articulate a basic ass conversation, or they feel like everything is argumentative. Like, I hate that type shit. Okay, this also looks like another little baby boy. It says, "My boobs are rock stars." Cause period. It says, "In preparation for birth, your girls grew. Your areolas darkened, and your memory glands created liquid gold. The colostrum still." Your baby's good and lay down an immune boosting foundation. In their infinite in their infinite wisdom, your glands now produce mature milk that evolves that evolves daily for your baby's changing needs. Talk about the most adaptive superfood on the planet. Just one drop of breast milk contains one million white blood cells and over one hundred prebiotics that feed the baby's mic mic the microbiome. Ooh, child bless the breast as they rise to mighty occasions of motherhood period okay i am patient i am kind and then i'm taking one more and that's it okay it says i am patient i am kind looks like another baby boy some of y'all could be from like um East Indian descent, some of y'all European descent, some of y'all melanated, like African descent or something. Um, she looks like she could be Spanish or something. There will be days when you want to lose your cool, when you can't take another moment of the mom life grind. Ugh, la, 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 la. Mom life grind because it's just so constant. This is to be expected. You have not. You have a lot on your plate right now, but at your core, you're patient and you are kind. If you need to blow off steam, exercise, journal, escape into a movie, or enjoy a good old-fashioned cry, release the energy so that you can show up again as your patient and kind mama you are. Okay? Peace, love, and yoga pants. Period. Don't stop. Habit becomes lifestyle. Don't change. What you're doing, like, to before you had got this baby, like, the stuff that you, the changes you made, like, still keep doing those things and even get better, find new practices and stuff and add them to that. Like I said, it is, habit becomes lifestyle. It says, remember to breathe. Remember to breathe. Some of y'all could be also connected with the moon. Or y'all could be having your baby on a full moon night or something. Go look into moon cycles. Um... This is giving me Belle off of um, Beauty and the Beast. Go look up Spirit Animal, the Unicorn. Remember to breathe. Breathe, mama. You got this. Deep breathing grounds you in reality and returns you to parasomatic state where your body recovers and heals. Deep breathing also strengthens the pelvic floor, which can also use a little help postpartum practice this soothing breathing routine a few times a day inhale for four seconds hold for four seconds exhale for four seconds hold for four seconds repeat in four sets period 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 poo 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 
people. <laughs> don't ask why I just said it like that so so many times, shy. I don't know. Okay, y'all spirit guides is over here on some other stuff. Okay, can I get one prayer message from my collective spirit? What does the spirit babies want to say? What does the spirit want to say about this spirit baby reading? Gracias. Gracias, gracias, gracias. Yes, I am teaching myself. And I, yes, I do. <laughs> Y'all probably will hear me just like talking like different languages. I am Puerto Rican and Creole. Okay, so, but... I live an American lifestyle, and no one teaches me anything about my ethnicity, so um, I've been, you know, just working on just saying basic words and learning basic shit about myself. Some of you guys are probably doing this, too. Like I said, a lot of ethnicities came out. I have Black African American. I have East Indian, okay, or some type of Indian I have Caucasian, European, okay? I have, um, like, a Spanish or Russian or something type of lady. And then I also have, like, mm, Let's say like Polynesian or something or another type of Indian, like Native American. So like I said, it's like a lot of different ethnicities. So like some of y'all kids are going to be speaking different tongues at a young age and things like that. Or um, have a blended, with this traveling around the world, have a very blended and diverse and very eccentric palette. Okay. Also with this past life being in here. But let me hurry up because we're at 3126 and I want to make sure I get this on here. Matter of fact, I'm going to stop it and then I'm going to read these. Hold on one second. Yeah, you guys, because I didn't want it to stop on me. So I have one in the reverse and two in the upright. So I'm going to read the one in the reverse first. I have Deut Deuteronomy 316. He will not leave you or forsake you. So it's equal in a 10, 316. Okay, so some of y'all is like, okay, well, now that I done did this part, is God going to leave my side? Is he going to make this hard? And they're like, what? Like y'all are wondering about the lessons that are going to come with this, but guess what? Y'all got to let that pride go. Like, some stuff, y'all just going to have to just let it fall into place and cross that bridge when y'all get there. But stay ready so you ain't got to get ready if that's making sense. Okay. 2 Corinthians 12, 9. My grace is significant for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. All I can see is David and Goliath, David and Goliath, David and Goliath. Don't... Like I said, don't be judging these books by its cover. And even with these other books, don't judge your book by its cover either. Because what may look one way could be something totally fucking different. Where the areas you feel like you're weak at, somebody might look at that like you're a fucking superhero. That's a fucking strength. Okay? Even the fact that you have grace. You have the grace of God. You are God-like, okay? Take it how it resonates. Also, Proverbs 10, 12. Yeah, and that was 3, 9. So I got 2, 1, 2. Then I also got 3, 9, which, because it's 12, 9. So that's 3, 3, 3, 3, 3 on repeat. Y'all in that 33 degrees, y'all graduated. Y'all y'all going through the loop. And it says, Hatred stirs up strife, but love covers all sins. Proverbs 10, 12. For stability. Hatred stirs up strife, but love covers all there's a hero when you look inside yourself. There's an answer when you look inside your heart. Don't be so prideful. 
that you looking over all this good shit that's about to be happening to you. Don't fuck up your manifestation. Don't fuck up your manifestation. Y'all is in a good ass area right now. Okay, I'm gonna get the type of energy that the mother is in. I'm gonna get the type of energy that the father is in, and we're gonna be done with this reading, you guys. And again, again, if you do celebrate, happy new year, happy new year, happy new year. All right. God grant us the serenity to accept the things that we cannot change, prepare to change things that we can't, and the wisdom to know your fiance. I said, God grant us the serenity to accept the things that we cannot change, prepare to change things that we can't, and the wisdom to know your fiance. Please give me clear messages on the mother and father of this spirit baby reading. Please give me clear messages on the mother and the father of the spirit baby reading. Ashe. Can you please tell me what energy that the mother is in? Can you please tell me the overall energy that the mother is in? This is kind of on its side. So we got the one, two, three. So we got the nine of swords. Somebody is having sleepless nights. Okay, so like I said, some of y'all are at that ending stage where like y'all not comfortable because you're probably about to be going into labor pretty soon so like you're up you're crying you're having labor pains things of that sort or these are like the nights when your significant other is away you're probably like damn i wish my babe was here but i know he's working i know this this and that so like probably parts of your pregnancy has been lonely but it's not because of ill intentions by far um page of wands okay um since this is on the side i'm hearing like some of y'all are kind of scared of your childlike energy because the way that these manifestations manifestations started coming in okay so some of y'all could be at a standstill with the manifestations to see what more y'all want to add to your manifestation and what not to add to your manifestation because at the end of the day even though we manifest things, like I said, the way that they come in, we might not critique it all the way. We don't know all things. So just like with this pregnancy, y'all probably want somebody who's there next and going to leave you and this, this, and that. But y'all wasn't expecting that the person was going to be gone as much or traveling as much or da 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 So take it how it resonates. We got the Ace of Cups in reverse. This is back when I was telling y'all, y'all not pouring into yourself enough. At this point, you need to be pouring into yourself. Stop. You can't be pouring into other people right now. This Right now, this moment is about you. And don't feel guilty about not being able to pour into other people right now. Everything comes back around full circle. Everybody gets their turn. Ashe. Again, with this two of pentacles... <laughs> somebody's missing their old life their their hot girl or hot boy life because you have one little boat over here that's like okay do 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 in my mission done then you got it's like a like a party boat over here and it's like <laughs> they looking more at the party boat like damn i gave up all of that to go have this over here but guess what it's all gonna be worth it mama okay snap back game gonna come back okay you gonna probably be other women with kids or now you and the friends that you already had who has kids can bond or something like that like take it how it resonates um also like like i said these people over here they might have it look like it's fun but it's probably really not fun okay so don't let that let that pride shit and ego shit go okay spirit can you give me um What's the overall energy of the father of the spirit baby reading? They see you as the empress. <laughs> they definitely see you as the empress. Sarah, can you give me <laughs> can you give me messages of how this father feels about 
Okay. I'm guessing it's these two. What's this? Eight of Cups? Yeah, Eight of Cups. Didn't I say something about the moon earlier? It's something about a full moon. You're, you might be having a cancer child or one of y'all is a cancer or something like that. Are y'all just very intuitive? Also, some of y'all could be a Virgo. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn with all this greenery. Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer with all the water and the moon. I'm hearing... I, I, I'm bringing the bag to you, but I got to go again. I got to get this money. Just in case I don't make it home tonight. I may let me out to you for the last time, baby. Just in case, just in case. Wanna love you like the last, cause baby, you know that I have. So just in case. Okay. I'm also seeing some stuff like the Duggars, like, this man can't keep his hands off you. Like, is this red jacket, it's like a passion for you. Sagittarius, Leo, Aries. There's some type of passion burning for you. Also, the, your, your baby daddy could have some type of braids or blonde hair. Hearing blonde dreads or something, or like sand, like that sandy blonde reddish hair. Yeah, and then six of um, six of cups, eight of cups. He always bringing, he always bringing the bag back to you. You get you. <laughs> well, yeah, he said, um, give a woman a house, she'll make it a home. If you want a woman to be a garden to you, you have to take care of the garden. This man is taking care of the garden. This man see you as the empress. That is that is it. That is all. Y'all heard me. I said, what is this man? Y'all seen the cards. Like they Okay, so and I've been telling y'all the whole reading, but yeah. That is so freaking cute, you guys. I love that for y'all. But yeah, y'all already know what it is. It's Melanin Nation, Melanin Gang, Melanin Pop, Melanin Take It Over, period. Okay. So, yeah. Like, like, like. Share, share, share. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And explore the page. All right. Great. Okay. Stay nerdy, stay knowledgeable. Okay. And that's all I gotta say. So, deuces. Ciao.